Hey guys, welcome back to my little art haul, first art haul, I should say, of 2023. Happy New Year. I hope your guys' 2022 is great, uh, artsy-wise, personal-wise, and that your New Year's resolutions, if you guys do them for 2023, are going to be fun and exciting and not too stressful because, you know, you don't want a resolution that's too stressful. So I have some interesting art supplies, as you can see here. And this one we're going to actually save for last because it was a special kind of spur of the moment purchase. Um, but for the most part, uh, with the exception of these uh, stickers, all of these items were purchased uh, by someone else as uh, Christmas gifts for me. And I'm excited to show you guys what they are. And like I said, we will open this secret, secret package later. Now I wanted to kind of let you guys in on a little secret. I like stickers now. Who'd have thought, right? Um, and so I kind of been collecting um, interesting stickers that I find or design-wise that kind of appeal to me. And I happen to see uh, this guy, his name, username that he goes by is Maximus Prime Art. And he does like uh, cryptid, cryptid animals, you know, like uh, Bigfoot, Loch Ness. As you can see, his logo looks like uh, the Sasquatch or Bigfoot. And uh, this actually was on his package. I saved it, um, saved it from the envelope that the stickers came in because it was just cute and I wanted to save it. But yeah, this is his information. You can find him on any of those. Cryptid animals are have always been like a secret side passion hobby of mine just to kind of collect and read up on. When I was like 2, 13 or 14, I loved reading up everything I could. Got my hands on all the books and read them and even wrote my own little short stories and all all kinds of stuff. Now he has he has all kinds of other little stickers on his on his website, but he has a really cool project that he did and I wish that I had the money to buy whoops to buy a uh poster that he had made of all 50 states of the United States. All 50 states have their own cryptids. So as you can see, this is California. And he had names for each of these. I should have actually saved the um, list that, that it came with, but I, I got it based on like the ones that I was interested in, as well as the other ones that just appeal to me like visually. And uh, so we'll just go through them like, okay, I'm not going to, I'm not going to name the states, call out the states because my geography is totally bad. I have no excuse. It's just my geography is bad, but I know these two, California and Idaho. Um, I'm not sure like which um, creatures are which, like I said, I have to, I'll link in the description below um, which ones I got and then with the links so you can Go check them out for yourself. This one I really like. It says, I'm trying very hard not to connect with people right now. And it's uh, Bigfoot or Sasquatch in the woods. I just thought that was pretty cute. And there is another one in here that I think I got two of. Yes, these these guys. These guys were so adorable. Um, a Wendigo, I believe. He had other like chibi uh, creatures, but this one was just really, really adorable. I, I just really like how he designed it, and it's just very chibi quality, very, very cute for a scary cryptid that you probably would not want to run into in real life, like if you were t taking a hike on the trail or something. But yeah, I'm just gonna kind of go through these. Some of these, I don't know if I'll just save like in the bag or just put on a sketchbook. Uh, let's see how this one goes. I'm trying to see if you guys can see that. That's right side up. I'm, 
I'm not sure if that's supposed to be a Wendigo too, but it just, just seeing that someone who is act actively designing and following their passion, that makes me happy. Uh, because like I said, I, the cryptids have always been like a little interest of mine. Um, but yeah, he, he has his username, I think on almost, yeah, every sticker. And, uh, I just, I just really thought I, um, yeah, this guy was really interesting. If you got any of you guys watch the, um, Paper Girls, the new series on Amazon Prime that came out, that's what this sticker reminds me of. That's all I'm going to say. No spoilers. <laughs> uh, yeah, and this guy, it's really interesting. You can see all that texture and, um, detail. And it's just enough. It's just right. It's not like overwhelmingly so with details. It's just just enough to kind of get the idea across. And these are good quality stickers. Because um, sometimes I've purchased stickers that have peeled off the, off their backing or they come wrinkled. And none of these none of these came wrinkled or marred in any way. So highly recommend you check them out. Um, like I said, he had a, all the states, all 50 states, as a poster with each cryptid on it. And I really, really wanted to get it, but A, I have no money, and B, I kind of don't really have anywhere to put it. Uh, but I'm sure, you know, I could, I could make room one day. I just got to figure out where. But yeah, check him out. Uh, he has... He also has uh, tutorial videos um, how he how he makes the little chib chibis I believe uh, kind of like a Pokemon style but also chibi style with cryptid so definitely check him out check his shop out uh, now next up oh I forgot to add this next up is this because uh, Jesso I've heard you're supposed to put that on like wood panels before you paint so that way the paint doesn't uh, fade, I guess. And I had actually um, received a wood board from the Art Snacks subscription box uh, a couple of months ago. And I was about ready to paint on it, but then I was like, well, wait a minute. I'm always up for researching stuff and new products, new surfaces before I dive deep into it because I don't know, maybe that's a perfectionist in me. I just want to make sure it turns out good and it's not like any fault of mine for not experimenting or um, I'm sorry researching first before I experiment so someone uh, some someone I watched on YouTube said that they use gesso to gesso up the board before they paint it but I also heard that you can use gesso on these guys which is Pantone postcards there is a challenge that I've heard of and I'm not really sure like what the what the uh, main concept of the challenge is if you like say you use find pick a color that you like and you just paint anything on it or does it have to relate to um if does it have to relate to like the prompt on here or if it's just a random random thought um <clears throat> excuse me I had actually seen a few artists that I other artists that I watch on YouTube like um I believe gel arts that she did something similar to this and there's another person and I can't quite recall their username but I'll link it down below if I if I remember but yeah there are postcards and if you want to actually send them out to someone or if you want to keep them and make like your own collection. Um, I just, I just thought it was like really interesting and unique. Like I've never, I never heard of the challenge until like um, a couple months ago. And I thought well, that's interesting. Uh, that would be something to try, kind of break out of, break out of the comfort zone. Plus it's a very small surface, as you can see, I'm holding it here. And that's however big that is. It's not like, a massive 18 by 20 piece of paper and like, oh, what, what, what can I draw? But there's all kinds of uh, interesting colors and 
options to go with. Uh, so I'm excited to see what I can do. Ooh, pirate black. That's that's a perfect pirate black if I ever saw one. Humor, humor, humor. Um, so yeah, thought I would I would show you guys those. But I also have something very interesting that I happened to come across from another another um, artist just recently. And it's funny because the person the person that bought me these items just happened to be working off a wish list of mine and she came across this, which I had no idea that they made Stonehenge black watercolor paper. I was like shocked because I had not really seen it before. And now now I see that it's, it's in the Art Snacks subscription box for, um, it was a previous, I'm pretty sure it was a previous subscription, uh, month, monthly subscription in the past. But here's, here's all the other um, watercolor types that they come out with. Linux, I never heard of Upo. I have heard of Linux. I think the art box has those or had that. Uh, Stonehenge, the Aqua, Cold Press Heavy and Cold Press and Hot Press. I'm familiar with those, but never with black. So that works nicely into this. You like how all these things like tie into each other? <laughs> um, I had come across this. This wasn't actually in my wish list. The Paul Rubens, uh, like sparkly, uh, transparent watercolor. And this is like so nice. I'm, I'm so excited to have it and, and, and try it out on this paper and, uh, regular watercolor paper. Maybe my sketchbook too. I'm not really sure which one yet, but look at this. It's just so nice. The box it comes with is very, uh, sturdy. Like there's no, no way to damage that. And it has this little chamois kind of cloth that so you can see it's, it's very nice. And the palette itself kind of um, folds out. I'm not really sure what that's for. Maybe if you hang it on a backpack or something. But um, you can, it comes with its own uh, palette or a little paper that you can make your make your color palette and take it with you so if you're like hmm do I want to use the symphony purple or this royal gold I can look and see hmm this is this is what I want to use uh, I should actually scan the QR code to see what that brings up <laughs> maybe after I make this video and then they have this uh, color guide to like, I, I'm assuming it's like all of their, all of their um, colors that they make. It's too many to be the ones in here. But, but just look at that. I mean, I know this is the foil on top, but if these, if these come out as beautiful as, as the foils indicate, that, that is just like so, so yummy. Like, like this one is calling my name right now. If I can get it out. Oh, how do I get this out? <laughs> Help. Uh, oop, I don't want to break it. Oh, okay. Here we go. A little bit of a learning curve. But yeah, I can't really read that. I'm going to, oh, per lessons. Deep. Interference green pearlescent is what it says. I don't know if you guys are able to see that, but that's, you'll just have to take my word for it. That's what it says. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm really super stoked to, to try this out and get this back in the pan. There we go. Not really sure. Maybe this is a good idea to keep them like locked in, but like I'm not sure how that works after the foil's off. Do you just like spritz it? And I guess that covers it. It should be fine. Totally should be fine. 
but yeah, um, nice, nice, uh, deep wells. I mean, I do have another little watercolor, um, container palette, I guess, which is this one that I kind of used and, uh, it, it's good. It's just, it's just a little bit, um, I don't know. I'm very tactile. So the surface of it is just kind of like, not grimy, but it's a different kind of plastic versus like, uh, this is metal, I guess. So just like that tactile difference kind of means a difference to me. Not saying I'm going to throw this one out. Like I'm totally, I'm still going to use it, but having like the different color, uh, having the different texture of the watercolor palette is, is, uh, kind of important to me it's like it's like for people that um you know scratch their nails on the chalkboard or scratch their nails on porcelain like that that feeling that texture that sound is like makes me cringe so that's kind of how i am maybe maybe i'm just weird don't tell anyone Shh. now these are a bit of a pricey purchase but I definitely think it's worth it considering all of the work that went into it from the artist who created it. These are the color cubes by Sarah Renee Clark. She is this wonderful um, artist on YouTube. She creates like her own coloring book pages. You may have seen her videos. She's like I used every purple colored pencil or every purple art supply and made this drawing or colored in this picture and she has like a lot of supplies and and uh it's always been kind of hard for me to see the uh principles of color theory I guess like I know the basics I know okay blue and orange or purple and yellow okay those are kind of like the opposite of each other on the on the color wheel so those should look good together but as far as like getting other colors to vibe to match I struggle with that and so I'm, I kind of like look at other artists to see okay what colors did they use and then just okay they stayed in this group and I'll kind of stay in that group but she created what she calls the um color cubes and there's two volumes one and two so let's see what are we looking at here I think this is volume two yeah it's volume two she has had little stickers that come with it I could just look in the lid volume two um but I think one is like the, all the cool colors and the other one is like all the warm colors warm-ish colors but uh as you can see she has like a, a picture on the front and then all the colors that were inside of it utilized in it and then you can turn this around and say hmm what colors do I have do I have markers do I have colored pencils do I have inks do I have um, Posca pens and kind of line it up hmm these colors go good together this will make a wonderful color palette and so this is like genius because I mean, honestly, I could just sit here like all day and just stare at, at all these all these colored palettes. And each one is a little bit different. It's like none of them are quite the same. They're similar, but they're not quite the same. Uh, I really, really love this one. And I believe these are the um, codes, that, codes that you can use in uh, Photoshop. I think don't take don't don't quote me on that I'll have to look that up later but uh she has a whole bunch in here I did not honestly did not count how many she had but and if it starts from one to like say this is 377 but we're gonna yeah we're gonna we're gonna say that that is quite a lot so like say you're um bored or you just don't know what to draw or you know what to draw but you don't know your color palette yet so you can just if you want to be random you can be like hmm I want to draw something that's you know autumn-ish like this 
uh, you know, like a sunset, or I want to draw something that's, you know, sunrise maybe, and these colors. And this just really helps like, for me, like the idea of having to sit there and kind of take, it takes away from your creative juices. If you have to figure out, sit down and figure out, okay, what's, what's the color theory, go back to the color wheel and I, and kind of idealize which ones are your favorite colors to use. Or you say, oh, I use too many pinks and blues. I want to use something different like uh, yellows and greens. So here you go. This is a great tool for it. So I, I will link her channel in the description and I'll also link the product. Uh, highly recommend it. This also came with um, some uh, coloring, not coloring pages, free coloring pages for uh, the year. You can create your own color palettes by using the uh, color charts that she has. She has, I think, Ohuhu's markers, um, many others, and you can just print it out and have it like in your sketchbook. Uh, you can pull out volume one here. And you can just, it's just, it's just really cool. It's like you could make this a challenge like every day. I guess it does start from one. So yeah, you can make this challenge like you want to draw animals, do you want to draw food, fruits, or just base it off these colors and say I'm gonna draw a nature scene. Or yeah, nature scene, animals, or maybe abstract art and use these colors with it. Really, you can do anything. So that's that's just really cool. Plus these boxes that, that she sends them in, they're pretty hardy and, and will stand up to holding the cards for a long time without issues. It so happened that there was a deal that I couldn't pass up on both, well, both Amazon and Blick at the time. They, they were holding the same offer because because these art supplies were um, can go, I guess I should say, they can go for a lot of money. Oops. So I thought I would do a little unboxing here for all of you guys to see. Like I said, this was kind of a big, huge purchase only because of the price and because it was something that I did not think I would be getting for quite some time. So, you guys zoom out a little so you guys can see. A big reveal. A box inside of a box, who'd have thought? And some of you who follow me may may or may not know what, what it is. Don't mind me, I just throw my boxes and trash everywhere. These, oh my god, these are so, so expensive. I got my first two from the Art Snacks subscription box and just love them fell in love with them actually i have them these these guys i believe it was these two i had actually bought this one later as a birthday present to myself but they're just so beautiful like the the pigmentation and it's a brush tips too, so you can be real light or you can be real harsh on, you know, the pressure. And so these are basically $5 a piece. And they come in a set of 12, a box of 12. And the box set for like just one pack was, to me, an insane amount of money. I think like $30 to $40. Um... But it's a good product, so I understand why 
but I was like, oh, I'm not going to be getting those anytime soon. And if you wanted like two pack, two pack box, three, four, I think it comes uh, with seven. Like there's a grand big collector's uh, kit or not kit, but the markers, there's like six or seven boxes. You get all the colors, grayscale, peach pastel colors, um, like a range of colors. That one was like a lot of money and I thought okay there, there's no way I'm gonna be able to afford that one because uh, it was like about $280 I want to say but uh, it just so happened that both Amazon and Blick were holding a sale for the next step down from the complete full set so this box doesn't contain the grayscale or the um, peach peach color set, but it contains everything else. And I was able to nab the deal that, uh, well, Amazon had it, but the money I was sent for Christmas was only in PayPal, and it would take too long to like transfer to try to transfer it to Amazon, etc. So I ended up ordering directly from Blick which is probably better because it's, I mean, it's direct. Not saying that Amazon wouldn't be direct, but it just ended up being better. Why oh, am I so excited? Ooh, and it came protected too, that's good. Apologies for the shakiness and dropping sounds. Roll. I'll save all these corner pieces. I don't know why, but hey, they, they might come in handy for something, right? Ah, yes, this is what we want. So, yeah, it's three, so five. Yeah, so the, the set that came with seven had a box of all the neutrals, the grays, and like a uh, pastel. It didn't say pastel. I'm pretty sure it didn't say pastel. It was another name for it. But they they had the this on on sale. So it was like, ooh, this is never gonna this opportunity. I mean, I'm sure it would come up later. But this this was just like my best my best purchase or one of my best purchases aside from the the color cubes, which. Like I said, I didn't personally purchase. Someone told me, hey, if I give you money, you can purchase this. So I guess I purchased it, but it was someone else's idea to have me purchase it, if that makes sense. I'll stop rambling now. Now, how did we get this open? Yeah, it says professional sets. Now, if you want the collector set, like I said, that, that would be the other two. But I figured if I wanted to get the other two sets later, that, ooh, that I could just purchase them separately. Oh, this is interesting. Oh, so it tells you how to... How to clean it, how to store it. I would say you don't wanna you don't wanna store these markers pointing down. You wanna have them like at an angle. That's good to know because <laughs> I I did not I I thought most markers were good if you stored them upside down or you know the nib side down so that way when you pick it up you're ready to use it but not so okay let's take a look at I like I like how this is set up too it's a little bit too big to fit underneath my uh, desk here but 
really, really excited with the quality so far. So I'm gonna break it though. Let's see if I can. This is nice. This is really cool actually. So you Oh, so you can you have like your own color palette here. And even on the box too or no, I guess you stick these on the box. Oh, and then you get like your own little gradient. That's that's awesome. Let's see. Ooh. These these are just yummy colors though like can you like imagine like especially on this Stonehenge paper too? I can just imagine a lot of colors will pop that may not may not pop so much on white paper for obvious reasons. Of what? Yeah, I kind of want to try them out now. Let's let's try it out on this because this is semi this is semi watercolor paper. <laughs> Ooh. Nice. See, I just love that it's 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 a light like you can go literally like really hard, and then kind of ease off. It's it's very it's very easy to use, and it's not like uh, thick to hold. Cause some acrylic markers are, um, and this is a, acrylic markers. These are acrylic markers, by the way. But some other acrylic markers, like they're really chunky and thick. And unless you're doing work that requires like this, like your slab of wood or paper is this big and you need a big chunky thing to work with, that's fine. But if you're, say you're working on something that's tiny and delicate and small and you wanna do like intricate work, this is a tool to go with, I would, I would definitely say. So yeah, I mean, I can just open these. Ooh quality <laughs> definitely good quality um and i'm just gonna open the rest of these for you guys i would definitely say because from my experience with using the other the other colors that i got um they're really great like i don't know what i'm gonna what all i'm gonna use them for yet just yet but they they really it's like it says, it has opaque colors. You can't see that. Opaque color system, acrylic permanent ink, and it's a flexible brush tip. Not a chisel tip, which I kind of like actually because you can have a little bit more um, fun with it. Like a chisel tip, you kind of like, eh, there's only one side of it you can use. I mean, you can use the back side too, but it's not quite, it's not quite a, meant to be used that way Ooh, these are some delicious colors i love i love this pink Rose pink. What is this? Antique pink, yes. And then uh, for those of you that don't, didn't see it on the other ones or if I didn't show it to the camera very well and I can't see if you guys can see that, um, it shows your color right here on the back of the cap. Sulfur yellow color burst effect. Interesting. And they're water based. That's interesting because I don't, I didn't know that acrylic anything could be water based. I thought 
Well, I guess that makes sense, actually. But I'm still I'm still learning like the difference between what alcohol markers do, and that alcohol markers have a more tendency to bleed through your page, to like especially in your sketchbook, to bleed through the page that you're drawing on to the next page. Yeah, these are definitely awesome, and I will post a video or maybe add to this video, I'm not sure yet, depending on my schedule um, of color swatching the, all these guys so you guys get to see. And I would encourage you guys to try them out too. I mean, I'm, I'm very, I, I kind of gravitate more to the watercolor, what, when I say watercolor, I mean water-based type of um, materials, just because I'm so used to using watercolors. Um, and I feel it's kind of more flexible than other materials. Ooh, this is the box I love, 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 love. I mean, I love all of them, but all the blues. Cool aqua. Duck egg. I'm gonna, what are, you, what are you gonna use today? I'm gonna use duck egg. Yeah, these are, these are awesome. And I, I feel like well, some people would say, well, you have enough art supplies now. I think you need to just stop buying art supplies. And you know that meme that goes around, uh, it'll never be enough. Yeah, I'm trying to work on that. Like, keep, keep myself to what I have and lim not limit myself, but just say, okay, I have all these supplies. Let me use them. Let me experiment with them before I delve into buying even more. Did that work? Does that work? Not all the time. But it could work. Like if I actually had control <laughs> and didn't didn't jump at something that I mean not to say that I saw these and like, ooh, I need to have them. I've literally had my eyes on these on this deco brush thing since since uh, last March, because that's when I first got the art box that had, had one in it, and I, I just fell in love with it, and I was like, ooh, I'm going to put this on my wish list. Uh, and yeah, it's, so, price shop, if you can get a deal, if you can, I would say if you can buy directly, like from the distributor, definitely do that. Uh, not saying that Amazon is bad. Amazon so far has been good for me. But there have been some things where I buy where it's like the, the stuff has, you know, been sitting a while and it just dries out. And they still sell it as the price that it is. And, I mean, they do let you send some stuff back. But other stuff, it's a pain in the, you know, pain in the butt. So I would just say, kind of just do your research, really. And just make sure that it's worth, it's worth the investment for you. Ooh, these are actually not bad for nude colors, okay. Yeah, so these are, oh, and then it says shake, you can see that shake before use, store horizontally and cap after use. Got it. Such a nice sturdy uh, container that it came in too. Like I am not, I am keeping this. 
I'm not throwing this away. This is gonna this is gonna be a nice storage for them. Just wanted to say thank you so much for watching my video. Sorry that it ended abruptly. I had actually tried to zoom in the camera so you could see some detail and I had some more footage, but you guys really didn't miss that much. So uh, thank you for watching. Uh, I would appreciate if you hit the like button and subscribe uh, or pass a video on to the artist in your life um, because I really, I really appreciate any viewers and if my videos help a fellow art artist out, um, that, that just makes me happy. So thank you. Have a great day, guys. Bye.